First tonight, though, at 6 o'clock, breaking news, a brush fire in Boca Raton reigniting for the third time and again disrupting area traffic. WPTV's Ethan Stein live outside the scene along North Congress to show us the fire's effect. Ethan. John, official stop blocking traffic about 30 minutes on South Congress behind me. The fire, it's a little bit difficult to see, but I want to draw your attention. If you see by that one way sign, that's where we've seen a majority of the smoke come from. It's been difficult to see the smoke, but it really smells like a campfire. It's even been difficult to breathe in some locations. Now, the fire is happening in the Yamato scrub. It's a 217-acre piece of land, according to the city of Boca Raton, with numerous trails. We've seen people continue to run and bike through the smoke. Officials say the fire started around 2.30. A spokesperson says the dry and windy weather is allowing those smaller of, em of embers to set off a fire and a crew is staying on the scene. That's in case if a fire breaks out again, they can jump into action. Live in Boca Raton, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5. Oh, there are also significant traffic disruptions in Miami-Dade County Sunday afternoon due to a large brush fire. This is near Southwest 8th Street and Southwest 137th Avenue. Police shut down Southwest 8th in both directions due to the smoke in the area, but an evening breeze expected to push that smoke away from the metro area. Dry weather, windy conditions, not helping firefighters today. First alert meteorologist Kate Wenzel joining us with a closer look. Kate. Yes, John, this is uh, very familiar. Just about every year, this time of year, when we start to see a few dry weeks, which we've been in a dry pattern over the past uh, week or so, which has been a nice change from the wet season we had this winter. But we are looking at those brush fires popping up. And as Ethan Stein just showed you, one in Boca and one in Miami as well. The wind speeds are now out of the east. So that is some good news for smoke. It's going to be blowing away from from the East Coast metro areas uh, and not toward the areas where most people live. Lots of dry air in place. When you see those shades of purple, that's dry air. Now, by Wednesday night into Thursday, some more moisture works in. I don't know that it's going to be enough for any rainfall, certainly not the significant type of rainfall we would need to uh, help squelch those hot spots.